right, let's turn that music down. What's up, everybody? We are here in the great state of Missouri, driving over from Nebraska to northeast Iowa. And uh, we're just, I don't know, so we somehow got on a back road. I don't know where I am. I'm trying to find my way. I heard that there was a, a um, like a truck, and there was also a, a, an equipment dealership near here. And uh, I thought we'd stop by and see what they had while we were passing through. Uh, but I, I'm lost. So now I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm trying to find my way, but I'm just, like, stuck in field after field. This gravel road has just been going on for, like, ten years. Oh, it looks like we have a, a turn up here. Okay, well, I guess let's take that. Where we... Was this Stanley? Yeah, Stanley, and we were on McCray or something like that. Oh, gosh, this, the steering on this old truck's a little difficult, man. All mechanical steering. No steering assist. Oh, Look at this thing, though. Old 48 or so Ford? Or is it a 41? It's a 40s. No, I know that. It's an old Ford. Uh, I don't... I don't know where we're supposed to go. But if you guys haven't figured it out already, the new series on Upper Mississippi River Valley is going to be 80s-themed. Old school. Everything is... At least mostly everything. There might be some things that we can't get around. But mostly everything is going to be old school-themed. Okay? It's a lot of 80s, 70s, 60s, 40s, whatever it may be. Older tractors should be really cool. And thing, one thing to keep in mind with that, we don't have cell phones, so I can't just use GPS to figure out where I'm going right now. You know, I can't just call someone on my phone. Uh, things like that. We're going to be restricted back to the time period of the 1980s. I think this is going to be a super cool series. Hopefully you guys do too. Uh, but right now, we're just kind of exploring the, uh, the state of Missouri because I am lost and I don't know where I'm going. As always, guys, if you enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. It helps out the video a ton. I appreciate it. And if you find yourself watching more than one video and you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's a good sign you enjoy the content. You want to be notified when new ones are posted. Let's take a left. I don't know what's over here, but I'm curious to find out. Oh. Oh, hold on. I mean, I know this is probably private land, but ugh, the steering on this truck. He's a difficult one to steer. What's down here? I'm going to get my white walls all dirty, man. Can't do that. Can't get the white wall tires all dirty. You kidding me? <laughs> oh, this just goes back to a field. Ah, oh, I was hoping this was like a trail of some sort. Oh, you know how it is out here on gravel roads. Just grinding gears and drinking beers, everybody. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Got to roll down this, the uh, the roll window for my uh, my old 1980s cigarette or something, right? <laughs> oh, the classic 80s. Gotta love it. Oh, I came up to a fork in the road and I don't know where I'm going still. We'll find our way here in a moment. My, I might be out of fuel by the time I get there, but we'll get there. Hopefully. To give you guys a little bit of backstory here, in the 1980s, there was a farming crisis. A lot of farms uh, were going under, and uh, the, the prices and those things were just bad. And a lot of it was bad. A lot of families lost their farms. Uh, and my family's uh, farm was also affected by that in real life. They, um, they had to pretty much shut down the farm and sell off a lot of stuff and move into the city. We still have the farm to this day, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but that's kind of what we're going with. It's 1980s, it's the farm crisis, where a few people from Nebraska figured, you know what? Good, cheap land up back in Iowa, better land, let's go out there and buy it up and, and try to make it work for us here. Here's somebody's farm. Maybe I can pull in and ask him where we're at here. Alright, let's pull on up to this guy's house here. He's had a nice, wow, what's that, a futuristic power washer? Wow. <laughs> Obviously, we can't control some things with maps and stuff, okay? Hello? Hello? Nobody's home. Maybe they're back in the barn. Let me go check out there real quick. I'm trying to get some directions from somebody out here. Dang, well, we're not going to get any directions out of here. I guess we'll just we'll keep on keeping on. We'll head down the road more. I don't know. Do we go left or do we go right? That's the question. I think I came from the right. Let's go left. Oh, come on now, Ford. Keep on keeping on. Let's keep doing this. Y'all been trusty with me so far. Don't you be doing this to me. 
No, it's starting to overheat. All right, all right. I, okay, I get it, Ford. Hold up, hold up. Relax, relax. I got to get a new truck, man. I mean, I love this old Fordies Ford here, but she's getting some age on her now. I mean, it's 1984. She's got some age on it. Shoot. Let me get a... I have, I have some water in the bed. Let's see if we can get this thing cooled down. All right, let's put water on in here. Oh, you know what? Don't burn me now. Oh, shit, that's... Oh, gosh. Whew. Okay, you know what? That's hot. That's really hot. Okay, shut it down. <laughs> we let this sit for a minute. Holy cow, that was hot. I burnt my hand. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to... You know what? I'm gonna have to use a little bit of this water and try and get this heat out of my hand. I'll reach in here, flip on the radio, roll down the window, and we'll listen to some good music here while we uh, wait for the truck to cool down a bit. All right. Let's hop up on here. There we go. Well, I think it might be cooled down enough. Let's hop off here. There we go. Shut that radio back off. All right. Don't burn me now. Oh, there we go. It's not hot anymore. Let's put some water in there. We're good to roll. Let's get back out here on the road. Well, you know, indicate. Pulling back out. Perfect. She all cooled off now. We can keep driving for a little while at least. I got a, I got a lot of water in the bag because it likes to overheat. Got to come prepared. Oh, <gasps> wait. The highway. Oh, oh, it was the right way. I found the highway! Yes! Ha ha ha! I knew aimlessly driving around the countryside would eventually work out. Now the question is, was this the right highway? <laughs> I guess we'll see. At least we have some pavement now. Oh, deer crossing. There's the deer at. Is it hunting season? I think it's always hunting season if you ask me. Well, we're just sitting here on the tailgate again. Trying to let this thing cool down a bit. Figure itself out. You know, having a couple smokes, just relaxing. Also, I just have to say, guys, I'm not I'm not supporting that that you pick up a bad habit, okay? Don't do not do that. Please, don't do that. It's just the time period, okay? Don't, don't pick up bad habits. Okay, thanks. Oh, looks like someone's flying down the road here. Maybe I can... Oh, yeah, it looks like he's going to come up and try and help me out. Awesome. I'll flag this guy down. Oh, gotta put out my cigarette here. Be kind. You doing okay over here, sir? Hey, uh, well, not really. It keeps on overheating on me over here. No, it doesn't now. Yeah. Oh, but... Yeah, it keeps overheating on me. Oh, what? That's a shame. You, you make sure you're getting good, uh, you make sure your water pump's doing good? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I, uh, I got water with me, and I keep having to put it in the radiator every once in a while. I've been taking mm. a trip from Nebraska on up to Iowa, and, well, this old, old Ford just ain't handling it anymore. It's got a couple <laughs> years on it now. I say, that sucker's got to be at least 50 years old. Well, yeah, it's a 40... 48? 48, I think. Yeah. Hey, I could tell that... The hood and the grill is just kind of lines up, but I mean it's a beautiful truck. I love it, but taking it across country, it, it, ain't, it ain't the best to ride. No, I mean, yeah, when truck when these things get older, man, I mean these things are still built to last. I mean, how how long you had this thing? Um, my dad bought this thing brand new, and then I got it for my first truck, and I've had it since. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was as lucky as you. You know, I know. What I got for my, you know what I got for my first truck? What? A jalopy. A jalopy, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, uh, this thing is nice, though. Run down, beat up the... Well, I got a question for you. Yeah? How much would you be willing to sell this truck for? Hmm. Well... I love this thing. I saw you pop over that hill when I was talking with that one... I was doing a sales guy over here. Uh, I, I, I technically, I work at one dealer. I work at that deer dealer up there, but I also run that Chevy place that you just went by. It's not oh. really a Chevy place. It's a used truck dealer. But. Okay. Well, I mean, I got a lot of emotional attachment to this truck, but I mean, if 
if you'd be if you'd give me a good price on a Chevy, I'd give you a, a good price on this truck, maybe. I don't Well it kinda depends on what you're looking for. We got ourselves a we got ourselves a seventy one over there. It's a little really all of the trucks in there are really good condition, even though it is a bow tie. I personally hate bow ties, but yeah. I mean, it'll get you to and fro. I mean, if you need me to get you a ride up there in my truck, I can get you up there if you need to shut this thing off. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Let me shut this off here. Are you one of those aerodynamic guys trying to save fuel mileage with the tailgate down? Didn't you see me sitting on it? I was, I I was taking still. a seat, having a smoke. Oh, hey, by the way, you want a cigarette? I would love one. All right, here you go, partner. Thank you. You got a light? Yeah. Awesome. Good. I was Appreciate trying to see you. if I could get mine wouldn't mine wouldn't work the other morning. Yeah, oh, they're finicky. Ah, there you go. Appreciate it, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. Let's uh, let's go take a look at them trucks, I guess, and we'll see what right, we can work out today. Top of the back bed of my truck. I'll let you. I'll let you ride up there. All right. I'll take it slow. Appreciate you. You doing good back there? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'm trying to surf it right now. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, this should be good right here. I appreciate the appreciate the ride. Mm-hmm. Now, if I were you, I'd take our nice it's pretty much my exact truck, except it's uh it's a green, so like a pea green, I think they called it back I don't even know. But it's mm. a really nice truck. This sucker's a big old workhorse. She's got a little bit of lift on it, she's that high boy, high yep. boy style. Oh, uh, I, I believe could... it's an automatic. Ford, but, right up my alley. Mm-hmm. What year is this bad boy? I think it's a... Correct, it's a 72. 72? That's not bad. I set this thing up front, personally, just because, again, it's a Ford. Really yeah. nice truck. But if you're looking for something a little more small, <laughs> but also still real nice and show like we got this nice 71. I think it's our C10. All right. Yeah, I see the, here. Is this? Yep, this is our. This is our C10 model. I believe she's got the, uh, the 396 under the hood, so okay. she's got some power to her. Not too, not not as big as our 454, but still, still got ourselves a nice big power in that 396. Uh, guy kept the paint for this thing being almost 10 years old already. It's 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 a seventy one, so she's kept she's kept her beauty. Yeah, it's in great condition. Even the interior mm -hmm. is great. Yeah, this guy the guy who owned this truck before, I mean he hardly put any miles on it. Yeah, oh hold up, hold up. I think I think it's only got about five thousand so miles on it. Requirement for me always. Does this one have the ashtray? Yep. Alright. Gotta gotta always have yeah, the ashtray. This is this thing will not have one right here. This is some guy decided to throw some some weird tires on it. I don't, I don't know what they know are. where he found those. What the heck? I think they're custom forged. Yeah. Either way, it's some craftsmanship to say the least. What kind of weird hippie mumbo jumbo is that? I have no idea. But this right here is gonna be your best bet if you want something that's cheap, reliable, can get you to to and fro. But if you want something more workhorse style, you might have to fight the guy for it who wants to buy it. Is this old? <laughs> this thing's only two years old. It's cost, it cost you about eight grand, Ooh. but it's an eight. It's an eighty-two K thirty. Eight grand. Hey, no. She's she's a, she's a price tag. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you know what? Whoever wants that, he can have it. Oh, <laughs> well, it's got a bigger ashtray in this one. Does that help? Well, that does help a little bit. <laughs> and it's crew cab, so you can haul around all of them. Oh yeah, more room for uh. More room for my my cartons. <laughs> more more room for people you don't have. Yeah, it, these are just lifted like old fashioned. I think these came from a town over. They were their old fat. They were their old uh, town trucks. The service oh, gotcha. rig, not service rig, but the just like the, the town snow guys. keeping up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if you want something around here, this is gonna be about your best bet. We got this thing going for about twenty three hundred bucks. Twenty three hundred. All right. All right, twenty three hundred. For you, mm. I take that deal, boy. Yeah, that's not a bad price at all. Mm -mm. I'm thinking. I wish I had a way to to pull the old Ford too, though. Hmm. 
I guess maybe uh, I mean, you... the eight grand K thirty over there is just smiling at you with its gooseneck. <laughs> uh, man, it's not like how far are we from Northern Iowa right now? Yeah, it's probably about another five and a half, six hour drive. Oh dang! Okay, okay, that's a that's a ways to go yet. Mm hmm. Uh, man, I love that old truck, but. If you what what's the number you'd be comfortable on on it, that old Ford 150 or 100? Well, considering the fact that it's got uh, apparently some heating, some cooling problems. Yeah. Well, other than that, it looks like you and you and your dad kept that thing in beautiful condition. I mean, it doesn't even it look is. like it has a spot of rust on it. Oh, it's immaculate. Except you know the radiator, she likes to overheat, but I expect it to do that. You drive it from Nebraska to Iowa. It's probably going to do that, you know? What's your comfortable range on that thing? I mean, I know it's it's more sentimental to you than me. Well, now, uh... Oh, I think I could, uh... Let it go for 800. Ooh. You're killing me, Smalls. Well, but, it's... I mean, I, 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 yeah, I got, I got you. It's, it's, it's I mean, in the good condition. condition. I mean, that's that sounds more like retail price to me. Well, I mean, all right, now you, you bargain back with me. Throw back a number now. Um, I'd be, I'd be comfortable about, yeah, seven, eight, seven, seven, seven seventy-five, seven, seven three quarters. Seven three quarters. All right. Yep. You know what? You got yourself a deal on that. All seven right. three quarters. And I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll take the Chevy. I think thing. after I test drive it first, though. Yep. She. I, me and my guess, she's got the, probably the smoothest shift in transmission you'll find on this side of the Mississippi. Well, that's good. <laughs> that is good, because they didn't perfect that in the 40s, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you there, bud. Mm. Trying to take that. Now, the 396 will give you a bit of a kick. That's about the only thing that you'll have to worry about. <laughs> you, want a, you want a good bail truck? This is the sucker for it. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, take it for a quick spin, if you don't mind. I'll be right back here. All right, let's fire this thing up. Come on now. Well, there we go. Nice. Okay. Put her in reverse. Oh. Oh, come on. Put her in reverse. Oh, gosh. There she goes. A little rough. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh God. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to figure out these gears here. There we go. Come on. I'm trying to figure this thing out. There we go. We're shifting. Let's just roll down here and keep on shifting through here. There we go. Oh yeah, it runs just fine. Let's turn this thing around. I don't need to test drive it any longer. Ugh, this thing its much easier to drive than that old Ford there, but trying to get used to the different transmission here is taking me a second. I think we'll take it. Well, it took me a minute to get uh, used to its transmission, but I like it. All right. I like what I like that you like it. So I'll tell you what, seven and a quarter for that truck down there. We said 2300 on this one here. So we'll just take that seven and a quarter out of the total of this one and we'll call it good. Sound like a plan? Oh, yeah. Sounds like a deal. All right. What oh, I got to fill out and where do I get your money here? All right, just follow me into the shed here. We got our, it's a little bit of a mess here. Uh, selling system. We kind of worked out uh, out of one of these guys' sheds. We bought the shed off of them about five years ago. And it's just kind of been our office for it. So it's, it's very big, but you can see my desk over here. Oh, yeah. Nice desk. I like it. Uh, it's that new flotation kind they're trying out. Very cool. You get yourself up there to Northern Iowa. And I'll hold down the fort with that 48. See if I can't fix that cooling problem. All right. Well, I appreciate your business, man. No problemo, sir. Y'all have a good one out here. I'm going to continue my trip up north. All right. You drive safe, sir. All right. Have a good one. You do. All right, guys. There it is. We bought an old Chevy. Or in this time, not the who terribly old, actually. It's, uh, what, maybe about 10 years old? Oh, gosh. Almost went forward there. <laughs> so we got rid of the, uh... The 48 Ford traded in for a Chevy. 
Well, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. 1980s style roleplay headed up to Iowa, Upper Mississippi River Valley. Videos coming on that soon. I know you guys are, are wanting to see that. I know uh, it's taking us a while to get there, but we're just, we got some changes coming to the map that we're trying to get done. So hang tight and uh, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series. Also, if we get anything factually incorrect at any point, we apologize. We didn't live in the 80s. We're trying our best. We, we were Googling stuff like the prices of things and we were trying to figure out like the conversion rate and, and like inflation and sales tax and everything from back then. And we also looked up like, you know, history events. So we're trying. We're trying to make this as, as correct as possible. We are going to fail. We are going to get things wrong. And, and there are going to be limitations to what we can do with the game. So hopefully you guys understand that. But anyways, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. You ever Probably. take 60 miles? Um, what? About, about 100, 160 so miles. Um, uh, no. <laughs> about, about 270 some miles. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll simplify it. Just say it's probably, uh, 400 miles.